So I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the Revenant HD. This is a haversack that I've wanted to build for a while now. Um, and I wanted to specifically make this in time for Christmas so that way somebody could surprise a loved one or themselves with a very nice gift. So here's what we got. Okay, This haversack was built with kit mentality in mind. I thought to myself, what are the tools that I personally like to carry in the field with me? Tools that I know are going to work. Tools that are going to hold up and stand the test of time. So I designed the bag around those specific tools and made a place to put those tools on this particular bag. So is what we've got on this bag is, as you can see, the main bag itself is made from Kodiak oil dyed leather. And we have veg tan on it as well to kind of accent it and to give it structural support. Um, this plate right here is actually a big veg tan plate that I dyed to match the Kodiak and it came out really cool looking I think. Um, everything on its hand cut, hand stitched, hand dyed, all that stuff. So as you can imagine, heaps a lot of time went into making this bag. It's 11 inches wide. It is 12 inches long, and it's got a 3-inch gusset in it. So, before we go into the main bag, let's take a look at these pouches here. Um, and one other thing, you'll notice that the shoulder strap is actually used. This is my personal shoulder strap. A brand new shoulder strap is going to be made for this bag. I'm just waiting for the hardware. It's going to be roughly the same style of strap. It's going to be have a buckle adjustment and everything else on there. So it's basically going to be the same type of shoulder strap, just not this particular one. Um, but as far as the pouches on the side go, is what I've done on this is I wanted to have a place for your Leatherman or whatever type of multi-tool you wanted to use. When it go, comes to going out into the woods, I personally, I can't get the tongue tied, personally like Victory Knox stuff um, because I just find that Leatherman, I've never really needed um, pliers out in the woods. Not saying that you don't, you wouldn't need them, you know, it's up to you what you put in here. The point is you can fit multiple Leathermans in this thing or you can also fit like different Victory Knox tools in here as well. It's got a couple different snap locations, so that way, if it's a longer item, you can still snap it and it still holds it firm. Or if it's a smaller item like the Wave or like a Victory Knox Swiss Champ or something like that, you use the lower snap and it still holds it nice and snug. In this pouch, it also has a place for your bit set right there. So that is one tool option. And then of course, like I said earlier on the back, we have a place for an ax. So we can throw an ax or hatchet or tomahawk, whatever we want in there. And we can throw this on our shoulder and carry it, you know, as such as well. You can see that the ax does not make the bag sag or ride funky or anything like that. And then another tool location that we have is what, where in the world would we be when we're camping and hiking if we don't have our trusty Baco Laplander saw? So I had to put a place on here for a Baco Laplander. Okay, so let's dive underneath this flap again. Like I said, I put this big fidged hand flap on here, um, plate, excuse me, to give this more structural support so that way when this bag was closed or you close the bag, it stays in place. But let's open this up. Okay, so underneath here, this is the main body here. In the very front, I've got this pocket here. Now you can see that this pocket 
I utilized a piece of natural hide, the edges and everything else, just kind of give it more of a rustic revenant look. Um, I made sure that this pouch was big enough and could ex there's no actual gusset in it, but it's, it's fairly stretchy, as you can see. Um, I wanted to make sure that a person could put like their cell phone in here or a pair of car keys, something that they need to get to relatively fast. Um, something else that you can fit in here is a right in the rain notebook. It fits in there perfectly. So I really like that, that spot there. I think that pocket came out looking really neat. And the main pocket itself. Right now it's stuffed with a bunch of towels. Let me pull these out of here. And as you can see, there is just a lot of space in here. This thing has got a three inch gusset. So when you consider the fact that it's 11 inches wide, 12 inches long, and then three inches deep and can expand out even more than three inches, you can fit a very good amount of stuff on here. So now there's always one person in the crowd that's going to say something along the lines of, how much does that thing weigh? It's gotta be heavy. Well, I would say it weighs probably around two, three hundred years, maybe. That's about how much it feels. Yeah, probably about two or three hundred years, depending on how well someone took care of it or maintained it, or whether or not they just threw it in the backyard and let it rot. I have no idea how much it weighs. I'd probably guess somewhere around the range of seven pounds, six, seven pounds wasn't designed to be lightweight. There's a time and a place for lightweight gear. If you want to hike the Appalachian Trail, I don't suggest this. I suggest a lightweight backpack. But if you want something that's going to hold up, something that I could toss over my shoulder, I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm just not going to do it. If you guys have seen me beat the shit out of my other stuff, I'm not going to beat, out of, beat this one. I'm going to let the customer beat this one up point is it's not lightweight you want lightweight go synthetic if you want something that's going to hold up for a very long time not melt you know things like that this is what you want and this is me not dogging synthetic i love synthetic i've got a lot of it got a lot of lightweight backpacks a lot of lightweight haversacks and i use the crap out of them depending on where it is that i'm going and what it is that i'm doing so teach their own right so, if you want to get your hands on this bag, where in the world are you going to be able to find it? Well, you can come to my Facebook group at Wolf Customs, or you can go to my website, wolfcustoms.com, and you can find it on there. Um, first come, first serve. I, you know, it's, it's, it's hard telling. It, this might go within seconds, like some of my stuff, or it may wait around a couple days. I have no idea. So if you want this bag, um, I suggest you jump on it because I probably won't get another opportunity to make something um, like this in time for Christmas. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to make more items like this up before Christmas, but chances are um, probably not going to be able to. So if you want to get your hands on something that is relic quality, that's going to be around for a very long time, then uh, look me up. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good one.